Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to update Sourcefire's Defense Center. So, you know, many of you have played, obviously, with tons of different security products, whether it's IPS and so on. <clears throat> and you know that updating a product nowadays is pretty simple, whether it's an upgrade, an update, as in a patch or signature file. And we just want to show you in this portion or in this video how easy it is to update the actual Defense Center that uh, makes up the Sourcefire implementation. Now, just so you guys know, Defense Center is pretty much the, um, you know, the log core correlation engine type of thing the, that takes all the logs from the IPS, sends out alerts, and so on and so on. It's not the actual sensor that sits in line, so applying a patch in the middle of the day might not be, I guess, um, against corporate policy in this case because you're not going to affect live traffic when you do it. So let's go into operations, update, and here you'll see a list of the updates that we have available. Um, for actual sensors, defense centers, and so on. You'll see we have upgrade packages, patches, sensor patches, whether they're defense center or sensor, and we also have the vulnerability and fingerprint database updates. Now, with Sourcefire, you can actually um, configure it so that all patches, upgrades, and fingerprint and database files or updates are automatically downloaded into the system. So you don't have to actually go into the system and click on download. You can just go in there, you know, every day and make sure that, you know, if there's a patch available, that it's there sitting there in queue. Now, <clears throat> you can also push those patches out automatically. Now, that's probably not the best idea, especially the patches and the upgrades um, to sensors or defense centers. You want to be available to manually push those out. Now, with regard to your vulnerability updates or, you know, fingerprint type files or signature type files, you might want to push those out automatically. I've done some consulting for some companies where, you know, if a patch comes out at three in the morning and no one's available to push it, um, they want that actual signature database pushed out to their sensors, which is cool. Um, but with, with regard to upgrades and patches, you probably we want to do this manually. So again, we're going to upgrade the defense center portion of the box. Um, actually, we're just going to patch it. As you can see on the top, we have version 4.8.0.1 software. We're going to bring it up to 4.8.02-358. So that's the patch we're actually going to put on the system. And we're going to go ahead and click on install. We can see that it's actually brought down already and downloaded. Let's go ahead and push it out to our system. So we click on install. We choose the device that we're going to push this out to. And we're going to go ahead and click on install. <clears throat> now, usually this takes probably 8 to 10 minutes. Um, you can see here our local updates being queued. We'll go ahead and click on task status. And we can see here when this opens up, we'll see that we have a bunch of other, um, you know, successful pushes or patch updates and so on that we've pushed to the system. And you'll see ours down there. That's at 16% that it just started there. Uh, so let's go ahead. We have that nice handy button. We'll remove the completed jobs so we can actually only see our job. Now, going back to... Um, you know how we actually make our videos again guys this takes like eight to ten minutes usually depending on the system um, so we're not going to actually show you all of that because that would be uh, pretty boring so you'll see here that this is just about to finish and in a second here there we go we lost access to our task status there so let's actually go ahead and minimize that or close that and you'll see now when we go back to operations update just to refresh that page we're currently running software version 4.8.0.2 and that's pretty much how easy it is. The, like I said, the only part that we actually cut out of the video was the part where it was actually updating so you didn't have to watch it. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you update or patch uh, Sourcefire's Defense Center. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We will see you next time.